uh, congratulations on discharging this uh, responsibility that um, was bestowed upon you and your team to discharge a constitutional responsibility. As you have said yourself, this is the very first time we are having proceedings under Section 251 of the Constitution. And um, it is always uh, an important thing because we have all uh, decided as a country that uh, Kenya is going to be a nation built on the firm foundation of the rule of law, respect for the constitution, the laws, and all its institutions. And because we have submitted ourselves to the dictates of the constitution and the laws of Kenya, um, an occasion like this is an occasion where we consolidate our constitutional position, we breathe life into the provisions of uh, the constitution, and we constitutionalize our actions. In the past, uh, members of commissions like this have been hounded out of office. Some of them have been publicly lynched Others have been subjected to unconstitutional, uh, sometimes unmerited uh, uh, treatment. But when a constitutional office holder is given an opportunity, in the manner in which the Constitution provides, it is an opportunity for one um, to discharge their innocence and to uh, present facts, and it is also an opportunity for the country to uh, be seized with the issues so that uh, when a determination like the one you have reached uh, is arrived at, it is not on the basis of rumors or prejudice, it is on the basis of facts and evidence. So um, congratulations for discharging uh, that responsibility. Um, and it sets a new standard for um, public officers who serve either in constitutional offices or other offices that we are all subject to the Constitution and that uh, none of us is uh, above or um, uh, above the law in, in whatever manner an opportunity to serve in a constitutional office like the IEBC, including all other constitutional offices, is a great honor and it is a privilege. Uh, and officers who serve in offices like this must realize that um, uh, they, as they discharge uh, their mandate, they must do it in accordance with uh, the Constitution, and they must perform. Uh, the only guidance being the expectations of the Constitution. Extra constitutional considerations, persuasions, and other issues undermine the spirit, the letter, and uh, the whole constitutional framework of, of our country. I am hopeful that in future processes and uh, uh, institutions will be built that have sufficient competence and uh, build on the firm foundation of the law and the constitution so that they can withstand any influence or threats or all manner of blackmail that sometimes accompanies public office uh, and, and be able to discharge their responsibility in a fair and in a just manner. Um, this occasion is yet again another occasion when we celebrate our constitution 
that it makes provision for service by all Kenyans who serve in various capacities, and of course, also provides for sanctions and exit for those who don't measure up or those who are not competent and those who cannot uh, withstand enticements of um, extrajudicial and extra-legal bodies and um, what comes with it. So um, I am truly grateful to you, uh, Mr. Chairman, and your team for discharging uh, this responsibility. I know that um, as Kenyans, all of us, uh, when called upon to perform a public duty like the one your tribunal has performed, it is an occasion to demonstrate patriotism and to uh, uh, demonstrate the metal all of us are made of in discharging uh, that responsibility.